Now to a cold crime that's left a local business owner fighting to overcome yet another obstacle. Well, first he's been battling the pandemic's impact for more than a year, and now crooks have crippled his ice cream trucks. News 5's Bob Jones spoke with this man about his fight to get his fleet back on the road. For 68-year-old Russell Dossie, Triple D ice cream is not only his business, it's his passion. My favorite was um, the chocolate banana fudge. That's how I lost these two, too. <laughs> <laughs> but the owner is not laughing about what happened at his storage unit in Akron, a crime that has left his fleet of five trucks frozen. A lot of my hand tools were sitting over here. I had two welders and my power washer over here. Sometime during the off season, someone broke into the unit and stole thousands of dollars worth of tools, many from these shelves. My Craftsman toolbox was sitting right here. A hydraulic jack stand and a generator also snatched. Tools he needs to fix up his trucks. Um, an alternator and my starter. Which are all over 20 years old. Without the repairs, it's money melting out of his hands because the trucks can't hit the roads. Still, I haven't, I haven't got a full load in here yet because I don't know how I'm going to get out and sell it. Russell says he's frustrated for a couple of other reasons. One, COVID stalled his business in 2020. It got rough because a lot of the drivers, they got sick and stuff and, and when they would work, so I just shut it down. And two, he enjoys helping the community, sometimes giving ice cream away for free to kids who can't afford it. I like helping the kids. Although, you know, you got a lot of dogs that like ice cream, too. There are a couple of cameras near the scene of the crime, but Russell believes the crook turned them away before the tool heist. So there's no video of the suspect. The cold case has struck a nerve in Akron. Business owner Randy Adair stopped by to offer Russell tools or welding help. What can we do to help him get his trucks on the road so my granddaughter and her friends can see ice cream trucks in the neighborhood. And with that kind of help, Russell hopes to get his trucks rolling again, bring back a taste of summer while delivering a message to the crook. You know who you are, you know, bring them back. I won't press charges. Just bring my tools back. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.